Hello and welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. It is the day after Christmas 2020, just for those who may be watching this in the future. Did you have a good Christmas? Did you get everything that you wanted? I sure hope you did. I hope every single one of you had a wonderful holiday. A wonderful holiday. So, because it's the day after Christmas, we are running the Christmas theme. The Christmas theme. If you don't know how to turn that on, it's this little Christmas tree right here. You just click it, and it turns on your Christmas theme. The uh, pumpkin does the Halloween decoration. All right, well, let's get into our email. Let's see what we have for today. Let's just go down here to the bottom of the list, and let's do these two. Uh, let's start with this upgrade. It says, what's up? Things aren't working fast enough for performance. Does 11,663 sound like a fair benchmark target? Can you put 16 gigs of RAM in it, please? I want two GPUs for this build. Is it okay that it's so dusty? My kid's been using it, and I'm getting some weird pop-ups. Regards, Nathan Nutt. I'm, I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> Oh, man. Some of these people's names. Nathan Nutt. Right. Uh, let's go ahead and accept it, because I know we can get this done for him. But let's take a look at his stats. Got an i5-7500 and a Z270 motherboard. A 2080 Super. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, he's got a budget of 3250 bucks. For this upgrade, so yeah, we'll we'll definitely be able to get him what he's looking for here. So let's move on to this email. It says, can you help with this? I need a new computer if you're available. If I can get it to work, Adobe Premiere Pro CC will make my life so much easier. My brother has MSI in his PC. He says they're the best. Can you get it done quickly? Regards, Christine. So a budget of five grand to run Adobe Premiere Pro. CC, a recommended spec. I know we can make that happen. Let's go ahead and accept that. But while we're at it, let's open up Will It Run. We've got Adobe Premiere Pro CC, recommended spec. Needs at least 16 gigs of RAM, 4 gigs of VRAM, 7 gigs of storage, an i5-6400, and at least a GTX 970. Okay. I know we can make this work. I'm going to get the shop open. I'm going to step away, get some parts put in the cart. For this build, and I will be right back. For this Premiere Pro build, we're going to go with the MSI MPG Z490 Gaming Carbon Motherboard, an i7-10700K, only because I haven't unlocked the 10900K. We're also going to go with a Be Quiet Silent Loop 360, four sticks of HyperX Fury, 16 gig, 3600 megahertz, an MSI RTX 3090 Ventus, a Patriot Viper, a 2TB M.2 drive, a 1TB Team Group SSD, two 4TB Seagate Barracuda hard drives, 1000 watt Antec power supply. We're going to put all that stuff in the MSI MPG Secura. I think that's how you say it. 500p case. All right. So then we've got this upgrade. We've got this upgrade. Let me look at the stats one more time. We've got an i5 and a 2080 Super, and they want 16 gigs of RAM. Okay, and they've got a budget of 3250 bucks. So I'm going to step away. I'm going to get some parts for this upgrade, put it into the shopping cart, and I will be right back. For the upgrade, we're going to try an upgrade... Their CPU from the i5 that they have to an i7-7700K. We're also going to add in another stick of that Vengeance Pro that they have. 8 gig, 4700 megahertz. I don't even think the motherboard handles RAM that fast, but hey, you know, whatever. If you got money, you may as well spend it, right? And then we're going to pull their 2080 Super out of there, and we're going to put in two Zotac RTX 2080 Ti Amp Extreme graphics cards. All right, let's get all of this. Make sure we've got it for next day delivery. Let's buy it now. Let's go end our day. And we can get everything in. And we can get to work.
All right. Oh, this must be something from PC Bay. Excellent. Got this upgrade here. Let's put this over here. And here's our case for our build. We'll get that put on this workbench. Let's grab our sticky note and put that on the workbench as well. All right. Let's get this case taken apart. It is definitely dusty. It is definitely dusty. So let's start off with some compressed air. See if we can get this thing cleaned up. Maybe. I mean, I see the dust down here. It's just not going away. Okay, there we go. It's off the power supply. Maybe if we blow air up here. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. I think we might be good. I think we might be good. So, let's get the CPU cooler off of here. Let's get this i5 out. Let's do fits this PC, and let's get the 7700K in. There we go. There we go. Then we can add the stick of RAM that we've got here. Perfect. Then we need to get this graphics card out of here. There we go. And let's get our new graphics cards installed. We've got two. Where are they? Uh-oh. Are they not going to fit? Are they not going to fit? That's not good. <laughs> oh. So we need a couple of 2080 Ti's, though. We need a couple of 2080 Ti's. Let's hop back over here. It's fine. We got plenty of money. Plenty of money. Let's look at 2080 Ti. I wanted to get Zotac because that's what they had in their system. Let's see. They've got these 2080 Ti's. I wonder if these fit. Or maybe just the gaming... Because this looks like the 2080 Super that they had in there. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's just order a couple of those. I mean, you know, let's just throw away some money. We'll throw away some money. Let's see if these fit. <laughs> oh, me. Let's see. What am I looking for? Graphics cards. Fits this PC. Come on. Okay, there they are. There they are. So let's get these installed. I look like the other one was going to go here. Let's get the other one installed. There we go. And then we need some thermal paste. And we need the CPU cooler. So here's their CPU cooler. That should be just fine. Let's get everything cabled up. They've got red braided cables. So let's take a look here at... Oh, I can't even spell red. Let's see if it's these. It looks like it. Get that cabled up. We'll get that plugged in. And I think we're ready to boot this thing up. Actually, let's go ahead. And let's go ahead and get a USB drive in there because we're going to have to run 3D Mark and we need to check for viruses. So we will do that as well. Let's hop into their BIOS, though. Let's go over here. Let's turn their X and P on. They may as well get as much as they can out of that expensive, expensive RAM. So they've only got a hard drive. So I guess we'll boot from that. There we go. Okay, let's get the virus scanner on. Maybe. There we go. And then we need 3D Mark. Man. Booting from a hard drive. It's, it's rough. It's 
It's rough. Let's restart this. Okay, let's do the virus scanner first. 226, not too bad. Let's clean those up. We got that done, and then let's get a 3D mark running. We need a 3D mark score of 11,663. So I'm going to get this running. As soon as I have a score, I will come right back and show you. There it is, 14,809. We need 11,663. We definitely beat that score. Let's get this case put back together. Which is just this glass side panel. There we go. And we can get this out in the hallway. We can get started on our Adobe Premiere Pro build. Get this case opened up. There we go. So we probably need to take this top panel off as well. Let's grab our motherboard. We've got the MSI MPG Z490 Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi. Get this mounted. There we go. To get this ready for CPU, we've got four sticks of RAM going in. We'll also get it ready for the M.2 drive. The CPU, we've got the i7 10700K. For the RAM, we've got HyperX Fury 16 gig, 3600 megahertz sticks. We've got four of them. We'll get these all installed. There we go. And then we need our M.2 drive, which is the Patriot Viper VP4100 2 terabyte M.2 drive. There we go. All right, next, let's grab some thermal paste. We can go ahead and mount our CPU cooler. We've got the Be Quiet Silent Loop 360 millimeter AIO water cooler. We're gonna mount that up here in the top. There we go. Let's get this thing ready. Uh, let's see, does this have to come off? Get this thing ready for Graphics card, we also need to get a power supply put in here. Let's do that next. We've got the Antec High Current Gamer Extreme Series 1000 watt power supply. We'll get that mounted. We also have some more storage. We've got this a Team Group T-Force Vulcan 1 terabyte SSD. We're going to mount that here. We also have two... Two... Four terabyte... Seagate Barracudas. Let's mount those down here. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's get our graphics card installed. Wherever it is, where is it? It's the MSI RTX 3090 Ventus. Ought to be excellent for doing that video editing and rendering. Let's get this PCI log back on here. We also need to get the top of the case put back on. There we go. And I think all that's left with this one is just to get it cabled up. So, let's use... What do we want to use? Maybe some light gray... See how that looks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get everything cabled up. Let's see here. Let's cable this. And we've got this. And we've got these front fans. Let's see if we can get those to daisy chain together. Front panel connector. We've got our hard drives down here. We've also got this SSD. And then we've got our 3090. There we go. Let's close up these big glass doors. We can go ahead and grab our USB drive. We'll get that installed. Let's boot this thing up. 
Let's hop into the BIOS. Let's turn our XMP on. Make sure we're booting from our M.2 drive. We will go ahead and let the operating system install. All right, I think the only thing I want to do is maybe change some colors. So let's get the lighting app on. We'll go ahead and let it restart. This says it's ready, but I don't think it's ready. It's not ready until we adjust the lights. So let's select everything except for these two. Then I think I kind of want to go gray, maybe. Let's see if. Let's see what this gives us. Oh, I need to go static. Apply. It's kind of a gray light. Oh yeah, that looks like it almost matches those cables. Let's get this off the screen. Let's get rid of our HUD there. Take a look at this. For a working PC, I think it turned out really nice. I would put it on my desk, that's for sure. That's for sure. Let's get this thing out in the hallway. And we can collect some money. Let's scroll back down here. We've got our upgrade. Let's go ahead and collect that. Five stars. My PC now has a benchmark score of 11,663, and I'll come back again. Excellent. Excellent. And then let's do our build. Four stars. The new PC does just what I want it to. Excellent. We'll take your four stars. We will take those four stars. Got some daily deals here. Anything, anything we need? I don't know. I don't know. We got some more emails. Let's get this out of the way. Let's go to PC Bay. Let's see if we need any of this stuff. No, we don't. But our auctions are finished. Our auctions are finished. Our first one, we've got 2518. Second one, we've got 2679. And then 3820. Let's go ahead and collect. All that money. All that money. If you didn't see the episode where we built those, I'll put a link up in the upper right-hand corner. You can go and check that video out. I'm probably going to do some work, not recording, and see if we can at least, I can at least get us up to level 33, grind a little bit off camera. So next time when I make a video, I should be up somewhere into the level 33 area. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. Also, if you want to help support this channel, there's a link to my Patreon down in the description. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there. Be sure to wash your hands. And I will see you in the next episode.